All right, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Thailand? I guess many of you thought it was a great travel destination with its wonderful nature, interesting culture, friendly people, and fun nightlife. You are right. But apart from all these great things, it also offers profitable business opportunities for aspiring entrepreneurs who want to make money with import-export. Thailand is one of Southeast Asia's most crucial trade points with its great location, developed infrastructure, structure and attractive and high quality production power. So in this video we will discover the best business idea to make money with import export in Thailand. If you are passionate about starting an import export business in Thailand and need some guidance about it, you can reach me via email and ask for my online consultancy and coaching services. Or if you are in Thailand, I will be at the Style Bangong trade show. You can find details in the description and meet me there in person. Let's go! When we talk about the most profitable international business ideas in Thailand, it is no surprise that the first thing that comes to mind is importing rice from Thailand. Because Thailand is the second largest exporter of rice in the world. In 2022, Thailand exported 4.29 billion US dollars in rice. The main import destinations of rice exports from Thailand are Iraq, the United States, China, South Africa, and Hong Kong. Here, I will tell you some little tricks to be successful in importing rice from Thailand that you have to keep in mind. First, the rice prices change, especially within a week. So when you decide to import rice, you have to keep in touch with your suppliers constantly and demand weekly prices from them to manage your buying costs. And the second is about shipping. When you are ready to ship your rice to your target destination, you must make sure that the moisture content of the rice will not change during transportation. The best idea for that is to work with a shipping agent who has expertise in your product and destination country and make sure that they use container dryer materials that can be used for food stuff. Okay, when we are coming to the second business idea is importing home decor and furniture from Thailand. Thailand has a significant furniture industry and its export have been on the rise. The country produces high quality furniture including home decor items. Kisties for furniture production include Bangong, Chiang Mai and Phuket. The industry covers various segments such as upholstered furniture, kitchen furniture and office furniture. Thailand's furniture exports are valued at billions of dollars annually. When I was looking at export trends for home decor and furniture exports from Thailand. I discovered the demand for Thai furniture is increasing globally due to its quality and unique designs. Also, the Thai Lifestyle Products Federation expects furniture export to expand by around 5% annually. Thailand exports furniture to various markets, including ASEAN countries, Europe, and the United States. The focus is on design, innovation, and quality for homes, hotels, and resorts. Here, I want to share some tips for successful importing from Thailand. You should find a reliable supplier and establish a strong relationship with them. One of the wisest and easiest ways to do it is to visit trade shows and meet your potential suppliers in person. If you are in Thailand or near to Thailand and have a passion for home decor and furniture, now you have a great chance to visit Style Bangong. So you can discover many product opportunities and meet potential suppliers as well. Also, you you can meet me in person there and learn about X transfers, cross border payment services, and how it works. This way, you can add a new payment method to your business that will make it easier for your future customers to pay you. You can find more details about it in the description below. The second is quality assurance. Inspect samples before placing bulk holders. Ensure they meet your quality standards. And visit factories if possible to assess production processes and quality control measures. Also specify product specifications, materials and finishes clearly. If you do it all well, you will make your customers happy because they will know they can reach you promptly, will not have any problems with quality and can pay you easily. In the end, they turn into the royal customers for your business and buy from you again and again. The third idea to make money with import export in Thailand is to import sugar from Thailand. Thailand is a major 
player in the global sugar market. Thailand produces over 130 million tons of sugar cane annually, producing more than 14 million tons of sugar. So it makes Thailand the world's second largest sugar exporter, trailing only Brazil. You can find four different types of sugar from Thailand. Let me explain simply those types to you. Raw sugar, made directly from sugar cane, it has a higher color value. It requires further processing to become white or refined sugar. Bulk raw sugar, partially purified with a yellow tint brown color, suitable for direct consumption and export. Golden cane sugar, purified with a color value higher than 1000 ICU MSA, used domestically and packed in various sizes. White sugar, highly purified with a color value of less than 100 ICU MSA and consumed domestically and exported. In 2022, Thailand exported $3.22 billion in raw sugar, making it the world's third largest exporter of raw sugar. The main destinations of raw sugar exports from Thailand are Indonesia, South Korea, Cambodia, Laos, and the Philippines. The fourth idea to make money with import-export in Thailand is to import textile and silk products from Thailand. Thailand is renowned for its textile and silk products, and it is a great choice for importers. Thai silk is world famous for its unique beauty. Beyond silk, Thai produces other garments and clothing with high quality and relatively competitive prices. Explore markets like Gigi Sunday Market or Platinum Mall for endless opportunities. And you can also visit trade shows in Thailand like Style Bangong. It is an excellent way to meet suppliers, see their products and establish relationships. Also, Thailand offers a complete textile industry chain from fiber production to fabric and textiles, all the way to design, production and sale of apparel home and technical textiles. Consider sourcing silk, cotton and other fabrics from Thailand. The fifth best business idea in Thailand is to import B2 products from Thailand. Thailand offers great opportunities to importers who want to import beauty and skincare products. In 2022, Thailand exported approximately 11% of its total cosmetics, soaps and skincare products to Japan and nearly 9% to the Philippines. The main destinations for Thailand's B2 product exports include Hong Kong, the United Kingdom, Australia, China, and Burma. If you want to be successful in importing B2 products requires comprehensive research, compliance with regulations, and building strong partnerships. Trade shows are great places for finding suppliers and establish relationships with them. So you can check out Style Bangong and search for other trade shows related to cosmetics in Thailand. The sixth business idea in in Thailand is to import latex from Thailand. Importing latex from Thailand can be a rewarding venture. Thailand is a major producer of natural rubber latex, which is widely used in various industries. In 2021, Thailand exported 1.56 billion US dollars worth of natural rubber latex. The main destinations for Thailand's natural rubber latex exports are Malaysia, China, the United States, South Korea, and Indonesia. Also, you can can consider importing concentrated latex from Thailand. Concentrated latex is a key product is the rubber industry and is widely used in various applications. I want to share five key points to consider when importing latex from Thailand. First, supplier selection. Research and identify reliable suppliers in Thailand. Look for established companies with a good track record in latex production. Attend trade shows or connect with industry associations to find potential partners. Second, quality assurance. Ensure that the latex meets your quality standards. Consider hiring third-party inspection agencies to verify the product's quality before shipment. Third, understanding regulations. Familiarize yourself with Thailand's export regulations, including documentation requirements, tariffs, and licensing. Work closely with Thai Navigate the import process smoothly. Fourth, logistics and shipping. Plan your logistics carefully. Choose the right freight forwarder to handle shipping arrangements, packaging, and delivery. 
Consider air, sea, and land transportation options. And fifth, build relationships. Cultivate strong relationships with your Thai suppliers. Clear communication and trust are essential for successful importing. Remember that successful importing requires comprehensive market research, attention to detail, and adaptability. And the last best business idea to make money with import-export in Thailand is to import seafood from Thailand. Thailand has developed one of the world largest fishery export sectors, contributing about 20% of country's total food product exports. Major export items are canned tuna and sardines, processed shrimp, prawns, and sukuit. In 2022, Thailand exported a total volume of approximately 1.1 million tons of seafood, reflecting an increase compared to previous years. The main export countries are Japan, the United States, Australia, China, and Saudi Arabia. Arabia. I will give you some tips here. If you follow these things, you can be successful in importing seafood from Thailand. First, quality assurance. Prioritize suppliers with a strong track record of quality and compliance with international standards. Second, traceability. Choose suppliers who can provide detailed information about the origin, handling, and processing of seafood products. Then, legal compliance. Ensure that the seafood complies with all relevant regulations and certifications. Fourth, communication. Maintain clear communication with suppliers regarding specifications, packaging, and shipping. Fifth, logistics and cold chain. Pay attention to transportation and storage conditions to maintain product freshness. Sixth, market research. Understand your target market preferences and demand for specific seafood products. Seventh, build relationships. Establish strong relationships with reliable suppliers and partners in Thailand. And last, stay informed. Keep up to date with industry trends, regulations, and market dynamics. Remember that successful seafood importation involves collaboration, due diligence, and commitment to sustainability. So these are some of the best import-export business ideas for Thailand. But there are many more possibilities. You can explore your own interests and patience and find a niche that suits your skills and goals. Import-export business is a dynamic and rewarding field and you can make a success of it with the right research, planning and execution. It is a sort of high-level approach how to make serious money with import-export in Thailand while also having fun and enjoying your life along the way. If you go to the end of this video, I would love to know what you find interesting or not interesting about it. Also, you can share your business ideas in 2024 or product ideas to export or import. I will be happy to see your ideas in the comments below. I hope to meet you at the Style Bangong Trade Show. So don't forget to look details in the description. Okay, my friends, if you want to learn more ways of starting an import-export business from scratch or finding overseas buyers, all that kind of stuff, check out these two videos over here, which are giving you some ideas and opening new doors for you. So thank you so much for watching. Do hit the subscribe button if haven't already. Please do not forget to like that video and share it with your friends or on your social media. And you can support me by joining my channel or sending super thanks. I appreciate you guys for helping me to reach more people. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.